to welcome to our YouTube channel. My name's Liv Tay, I'm one of the artists here at Paw Patrol and today we filmed this heavy festival glam. Hey guys, it's Patrick here with a little message. Don't forget to hit subscribe and also click the bell notification button on the right hand side of your screen to make sure you can stay in touch with all of our up and coming videos. Love yous! So I'm going to start by applying the P. Louise base all over the lid. I'm just carving out a brow and then pulling the product down. And I'm going to keep patting that in just to set the product. And now I'm going in with an F16 MUA brush just to set that product. So I'm just doing the same on the other eye. Now I'm going to start by applying the purple. This is just out of the Morphe 35C palette. And I'm doing small circular motions just straight into a crease. And then doing the same on the other eye. Now I'm going in with a pink shade again from the Morphe palette. And I'm just taking off the edges of the purple. Again working in circular motions. Now I'm going to go in with the orange from the palette and take off the edges of the pink. I want my brush to be half on the product and half on the concealer and I'm making the circles a little bigger every time I change my colour. I'm just going back in with my pink now just to reinforce because we lost it a little bit. Now I'm going in with a buff and blend brush, a BB22 and the yellow shade from the Morphe palette and just adding that around the um, outside of the orange. So now I'm going to carve out the lid with the Louise base again. This is a MAC 252 brush and I'm just following the shape of her crease. I'm cutting it a little bit higher because it gives the appearance that the eyes are a little bit more open and then just patting it out as I get to the outer corner. I'm just going to keep going back and forward until I'm happy with the line. So I'm just going to set the front half of the eyelid with a white shadow and I'm just patting that on. And doing the same on the other eye. And now I'm going in with a bit of a fluffy flat brush, it's an in between the both. And I'm going to use the yellow shadow out the Morphe palette again and just start to soften the edges so that the white blends into the yellow. And now I'm going in with the Buff and Blend BB22 and the orange out of the Morphe palette and just softening the edges of the yellow. Like a sunset? Yes. And now I'm doing the pink, so just softening the edges of the orange with the pink. Again, all out the Morphe um, 35C palette. And now I'm just softening the edges of the purple. Now I'm just applying um, the Lit Cosmetics um, Glitter Glue and the glitter that I'm going to be using is a, um, a Stargazer one, it's from Duty Free and it's just like, it's not got a name or anything, it's just got um, a green reflex in it, you can't see it as much on camera. And then this is the NYX um, Matte Liquid Liner. I'm just drawing a thin line across the lash line just to conceal the lash band of the lashes. Now 
Now I'm just applying a bit of concealer underneath her eye. This is the Makeup Revolution Concealer in C5 and I'm patting that in with a Makeup Revolution um, F16 brush. Now I'm going in with a BH Cosmetics pencil brush and just applying a purple shadow underneath the eye. And now I'm just softening that purple shadow with the pink shadow that we used on the top of the eye. And then this is the orange, again just doing exactly the same as what we did on the top. This is the NYX Slide On Glide On Liner in black um, and I'm just putting that on a waterline and dragging it through the lash line. And now I'm just applying lashes. These are Booty by Primal Lash. Now I'm just applying a primer, this was the Iconic Illuminator. And now I'm just applying Milani Foundation, this was a mix between the shade um, Vanilla and Tan, just a tiny bit of tan and mostly um, creamy vanilla. I'm just buffing that in and then going back in with the Beauty Blender to make sure it's all blended nicely. Now I'm applying more concealer under her eyes, this is again the Makeup Revolution Concealer in C5. I'm buffing that out with Beauty Blender. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Stick in 220 Cappuccino and I'm just using this as a cream contour. And buffing that in with a Real Techniques brush. And I'm just going to buff that um, nose contour in with a smaller brush and then go over it with my Beauty Blender. Now I'm just setting underneath the eye with the RCMA No Colour Translucent Powder and then packing it all over the face. So now I'm just going in with my bronzer, this is Dark Tan by MAC. And then this highlight is Doll Beauty Shine Bright. I'm just combing her brows up now um, with a brow gel, I'm not quite sure what brand it is. And then using MAC True Brunette just to carve out her brows. Now I'm just applying some bottom lashes from Eldora. And now I'm just putting an inner corner highlight on. This is a pink reflex. I'm lining the lips with Sweet Tea Lip Liner by Morphe. And I'm going to be applying Naturally Transformed Lipstick by MAC and then a gloss over the top. So this is our finished look. Thank you for watching and give us a thumbs up and subscribe down below. See you in our next video. Bye. <laughs> I joined in there. <laughs> I give <get> it. <laughs>